Hey, uh, so this is way too late because I did not realize I was getting so much engagement on this subject. You guys want to know more about weed in Finland. It's still legal in certain ways. Let me explain. Most police officers aren't interested in under 15 grams. I'm going off memory, by the way. I'm going to be wrong on a lot of this stuff. When I talk to police officers, None of them have told me that they're worried about the war on drugs here being actually about stopping drugs or helping to save people. They've never been able to stop marijuana in Finland at all. Constantly, there's huge, huge, there's a huge farm going on right now that was maybe about six months ago, eight months ago, I saw this in the news. The guy was going to grow 200 plants, 1,000 plants, something like that. And he told the police, I'm going to do it. He's not selling it. He's giving it to his friends for cancer pain, whatever else. From what I understand, they still haven't busted him. And he was being quite open about it. So, it's, there are certain forces in the police that know they have to enforce things, but other ones that want to just leave it alone. They know it's not causing the problems. Alcohol, from what I remember, on a big holiday in Finland, will get you 300, 400 arrests from fighting alone. That's just how many people they catch. I have a story just one week ago, it was just in the newspaper here, about a close friend of mine who I'll be doing a show about drugs in the future. Oh, sorry, the ones that you get from specific uh, industry, not the kind I'm talking about. <clears throat> I don't consider these uh, the same type. Of course they are drugs. So the reason why everything is kept so expensive here is not and made illegal is because uh, the politicians or whoever is involved in the business can make the most amount of profit. It's not about saving lives. It can't be, right? If so, please correct me. I want to be wrong on these things. I'm not interested in teaching you. Teach me. I didn't even realize I had so many comments on that uh, last video on the legal weed here. So what is still legal? You can get CBD oils. Uh, somebody I know bought it from Tampere, which is a small town outside the Helsinki. Big town for you guys, but I'm sorry, I came from LA, tiny, tiny little village of Tampere. You know, I think they have a couple buses or something. Um, so you can get the CBD oil there in high concentration if you want to use it for whatever the hell you're going to use it for. <clears throat> They're not allowing you to buy anything legal like that, but there's some weird rules as well, like people have mentioned in the comments. I, I must have met at least 10 people here who have grown more than 20 plants or something, something quite obvious that they're not doing it for uh, just personal use. Uh, and probably more evidence against them, and still they get off with a fine. It's just a fine. It's the same fine that you get for riding the metro without buying a metro pass. So, it's not decriminalized completely. There's still this aura of wanting to make sure you know drugs are bad, okay? So, just understand in Finland, Everything I've ever seen in the media has completely blown out of the water. The lies about all kinds of different stuff. Let me just sit, tell you here. I work with uh, lots of different age groups as a coach. <clears throat> uh, and I've been a player too. But when I'm working with these younger generations, I love to ask questions. I'm not trying to tell them about stuff. I just want them to explain to me what their situation is. And they said that the under 20 year old, sorry, let's go under 30 here in Finland, unanimously so far, I have not met one person that age that has said that they are more interested in drinking than smoking. So the younger generation is not being brainwashed so much by the other stuff. They know by through their own experiences. They see their friends getting stabbed from drinking situations or harder drugs. But there's not too many people ending up in big weed debt. There are a few. I know a few. One guy had a knife held to his neck, 19 years old, basketball player, friend of mine, good kid, always on the, on the courts doing well. But yeah, don't owe people money here. And apparently 500 euros is about what it costs to have your arm taken off. So 
or a knife to your neck, whatever. So don't do that, but there's not too many people smoking it and not eating here. Uh, one thing I'll say is during lockdowns, I cannot believe how difficult it has been for a lot of the people, you know, we're talking about 70 year old professional athletes that have been training their whole lives, who have multiple diseases, multiple risk factors, and all they want to do is smoke. They have to be scared. They have to walk around like shit. You know, I can't say anything and they're scared of, and here's why. Not only can you lose your job, you won't have the ability to work with children anymore. Can you imagine that? So it's in the same category as rape with that. Um, but uh, then the reputation is still the same. If you smoke weed, you are the same as a heroin addict in Finland. So just, it's, but when you walk the streets and ask people things, when you go to sauna and ask, it's only the older generation that are like, yeah, that one's the most dangerous thing we have. Not most dangerous, but it's very dangerous. I'm not advocating that anybody should use it. I think there's a lot of people that fail with it, that get psychotic with it and don't enjoy the feeling. Good for you. Stay away. But this cannot be the happiest country in the world if it's not for that magical plant with five leaves. Just saying. Shit, I almost thought that looked like a leaf back there for a second. <clears throat> but, yeah. Otherwise, I, I don't know. I don't see a lot of people killing themselves because they can't get it. I'll end this story right here with saying there is one other major problem with it having even this criminalized status whatsoever, and with the lockdowns. With the lockdowns, it's been harder for uh, growers to go out to their out-of-city farms, I guess. And so because they're not able to go out to their out-of-city farms, it's been a lot of uh, other specific like, you've got to stereotype here when it comes to Helsinki. There's just certain groups. I'm not even getting get into it now because this is YouTube, and I thought my channel was basically so censored that I'm not even... I'm worried what words I can use. So, um, the problem is when you get this imported stuff from certain gangs here, which a lot of people that I know do, this is where the government's failing, it's poisoned. Not only is it not organic and full of like all kinds of different uh, pesticides and what's the other stuff, fertilizers, <clears throat> not just that, but it's pressed flat. I've seen what it looks like. It's sold at any metro station here openly. Just people just stand out there. Yeah, you need it. And <laughs> when you take a look at it, you get a 0.8. It's packed down to nothing and it is covered in hairspray. Or something to make it like not smell or to be able to be shipped into the country and this is again from all these questions I've asked because I've, I've never inhaled <clears throat> so uh, the it basically pops when you light it up so me coming from California this is a terrible thing for our health you have a ton of athletes they're not drug testing for them, but they can fail for that. They can use this against you at any time to discriminate against you. But the times have changed. Everybody knows that we would rather be at a party where people are just doing that than alcohol. Alcohol, man, after 8, 10 o'clock, it's dangerous outside. Get inside. If you're staying at the club until, well, what do they stay open until 4 o'clock in the morning? If you're the last dudes there... Holy shit, there's always something cracking off, some kind of fight. You don't know how many people are involved. Uh, I've got tons of stories of that just from going out drinking with other athletes here. And they get in group fights just from even standing their ground. But, uh, yeah, you know, Finland's a great place to, to smoke a joint. Fucking, if you, get, if you get to know somebody who grows it in here, they care about their plants. They care about their friends. But when you get it from gangs from uh, anywhere else, it just seems to be super damaging to people. Hey, I really appreciate all the comments. I, I wish I had more subscribers. I, I, I should have been doing more content like this. Help me out with telling me what the fuck you want me to talk about. I'll talk about anything. I want to learn, too. That's kind of why I hit multiple subjects. But I'm trying to figure out what stuff is interesting. So if you've missed my 
crazy you know, Me Too stories or something like that, fucking tell me what it is you want to hear. Let's go for it.